Hi all, today I will be demonstrating how to use Kyber AI to create your own music videos in less than 10 minutes, in less than 10 minutes. At this point, I will assume that you have your own paid subscription and are just getting started. So let's just get to it. Number one, click create video. All right, and then choose your video type. In this case, I will go with flipbook. In another video, we'll talk about the other video types. But for now, we'll use flipbook. Next, upload an image that you would like to use as part of your video. It's not mandatory. You can choose to do so if you want. In this case, I will just upload a, an, an, a video file, sorry, an audio file. Now, now that you've done, you uploaded an audio file, you then really need to consider what you want your video to look like. And you should have all this pre-planned out. If you are short on ideas, you can use any of these ideas that have been provided to you or create your own. I will create my own. I have one already set up here. I wanna create a video of a hippie with long hair playing an electric guitar. Now at this point, you could leave it at that. Being clear and precise is important, but I also want to include on a stage inside a correctional facility performing in front of convicts cheering for a band. All right. And so now that we have a description, then we want to choose the curated a style collection, a style from the collection that best reflects what we want the, the video to look like. And so you have a number of options here. And for our video, I will go with steampunk. And this is the style that's been defined for steampunk. Next, click on video settings. And now very important here, you don't want to use the wrong aspect ratio. If your main goal is to produce a video for nine by 16 aspect ratio, don't select 69 and vice versa. In this case, I will leave it at 916, 916 ratio. Now for songwriters and musicians, we all write in sections, intro, verse, chorus. This is where you can make use of camera movements. So zoom in, we'll go with zoom in and up. And we will keep the evolve setting and the make audio reactive setting on the default settings. And as you can see here, we have our description. And now when we click generate previews, the images that will appear will be based on the description that's been provided. It takes a few moments. And what I normally do with these images is I will download all of them because I, I find that they all have, or will have some use at some point. I like all these images, they look great. And, each time you run the generate previews, you come up with something slightly different. So I'll go with this one. Uh, we'll click the uh, I'll download it, but I've selected it now. It's important you have it selected. Now I could just run the create video, but because we're songwriters and musicians and composers, we would like to maybe add another section. So this is where you add another scene. Now the scene, everything will be pretty much the same, except you want to change description. And what I've done here is I've already pre pre-written a second description, which is based on the first description. So select it. Now hit delete first and then do copy paste, which would be uh, command C on the Mac and control V on a PC, I believe. And from there, everything else stays the same. Click video settings. And you'll notice now that we still have zoom in, zoom out because we're on scene two, Scene two, we want to make a change here so that we can show the change in the song. So let's go with zoom out and zoom down. And we'll keep everything else the same, but very important here, the timestamp. Now, I've tried this a few times and I've been off by a, a second with the changes. This time I will go with 57 seconds and then we'll generate previews again. And at this point, it 
generates a picture that's based on that second scene. So it'll be pretty close, except they'll have some variation to it. All right, so we have a, a new picture here. This is what the second scene will be based on. All right, so now one final thing before you run the, the create video, I suggest going to uh, adjust timeline, just to double check you have everything set correctly. All right, and next then you would just, to get back to that screen, click on generate previews. And finally, take a final one final look at everything and click create video. Now I'm not creating this video because I've done this several times already and I've made some mistakes. And we'll come back in a moment to show the video that's been created from this, from this algorithm. All right, see, see you back, see you soon. <laughs> All right, now we're back. And before I move ahead to share the video, uh, just some context, the time it takes to create the generative part, or actually create the video could take anywhere from 20 minutes to a few hours. When I say less than 10 minutes, I'm referring to the time it takes you to start from cr clicking on the create video button to the end part where you're actually creating the video. So that takes less than 10 minutes. It's just the video, process takes a lot longer. And that's because of the amount of information that's contained within the arrangement. Now I'm showing you the video, a video I created yesterday. It's based on the exact same description. And uh, here we go. So that's how you create a music video using Kyber AI. If you like this video, give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next video.